you uh, you obviously left the WWE in July last year to pursue other avenues. If you yep. were offered a WWE contract again today, would you take it and rejoin the company? Ah, interesting question you pose. <laughs> um, that's definitely a possibility. Definitely. I know there's. Um, I've seen on uh, a couple of links for some in a previous interview that you, you'd done that, that people want you to call in or not sorry email into uh, WWE and sort of bring back Lauren Jones uh, petition there, which of course you can do obviously through the the main WWE site. There's a contact link there if you want Lauren back on SmackDown. Let WWE know that you want Lauren yeah. back on SmackDown. So, yeah, that's uh, that's another thing you can do. Yeah, absolutely. I get a lot of fan mail from the WWE fans, and I love it and I appreciate it, but. Um, there's nothing I can personally do. I, you know, I do talk to Vince. We are, you know, we're all on good terms. Me and headquarters, me and everybody there. Um, we we never uh, left on bad terms. We we're very amicable, and um, you know, there there has always been mention of a return. But um, they would have to contact me. Uh, that's how it works. So, and because I do get a lot of fan mail, I ask the fans if um, you can definitely send your support. I love it so much, but definitely write to. The WWE because they're the ones that are going to have the final say. Fantastic. So anyone listening to this who wants Lauren back in WWE, get right into to WWE through the website. <laughs> the the other thing that I was going to mention, not sure how um, if you do do keep up with the product at the moment. Of course, the big news over the last week is Kurt Angle, of course, um, leaving WWE and joining TNA. Mm-hmm. Um, any thoughts on that? Um, I kind of, you know what. Kurt has been with uh, WWE for so long, um, and he's had such a strong presence. I think that a lot of the the main people that everyone is following, they sort of move around a little bit. Like, you've noticed Christy Henney is no longer on WWE, but, of course, she's still in the scene. You know, she's not on SmackDown, she's not on Raw, but she's still in the wrestling scene. And I think that there has to be a time when people rotate or move over or go, or go to different venues in wrestling so that other stars can rise to their championship. And I think that's why people like Kurt Angle might make a move because it might have been pushed by a higher a higher up person. Um, you never know. But I think it's I think it's important that, that rotation occurs so that other people can come into the spotlight. Okay. If we shift gears slightly now, um, can you tell us a bit more about the Lorraine model and talent agency? Oh sure. Well, um, ever since I started modeling and had been in the business, I've met so many beautiful and phenomenal and ambitious young women um, that I felt that it was my obligation to share my knowledge with these women and help them get jobs as well. So a lot of girls have come to me and asked me to offer advice, offer my help, and in turn I decided that it would be a smart idea to actually start my own modeling agency. And it's been very successful. We've had a lot of great jobs and um, the girls are booking and, and doing really well and so um, I feel lucky that I can help other girls that are ambitiously pursuing um, acting and modeling and um, it's, just, it's just been sort of like I said a domino effect and everything it just made sense that this would be something that I would start and that these girls would would benefit from Fantastic what's the, what's the, um, the website that people can find more information about it? Sure our website's actually under construction but um, I can have you guys, everyone can forward inquiries to myspace.com Lorraine Models. It's L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E-M-O-D-E-L-S. And that's where we're um, accepting pictures and adding girls to the website right now. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, a- another area which we haven't touched on yet is, of course, your acting. Um, yeah. One of the, the things that jumped out of uh, me on your biography was the fact that you've recently worked on Spider-Man 3, which, of course, comes out next year. Yeah. Um, how was it to, to work on, on such a big a big budget Hollywood film? What were your, what were your experiences on, on the set like? Wow. It's, uh, it's very addictive. It makes you want to do more and more because there's so much hype and everyone is running around and taking pictures while the actor is on set and it's, it's a lot of fun there's a lot of energy um, it's a lot of hard work though I'm not going to lie about that it's a lot of long hours you know we were working in New York City um, and it was pouring down rain and we were working overnight you know on empty stomachs I mean we were working 12 hours going with you know barely any food of course there was, there was this thing called craft services that you know you can always go grab water and apple or something and yeah. but when you're working those hours it is just it's really tough and of course everyone has trailers you can go back to your trailer and take a nap but essentially like you're there to work and it's long hours and you just have to get it out but um it's fun i had a, I had a lot of fun working on that fantastic there's also um, a story i read online about um sam raimi's daughter i believe it was yeah um tell us tell us about that oh my god well i didn't even realize that she was his daughter at first and 
she was standing next to, well, actually, she was standing next to J.K. Simmons um, on his right, and I was on J.K. Simmons' left. And uh, basically, she was, she was, you know, she has a big part in the, well, a big part. She speaks in the movie, and um, she was very nervous because she's young. And she was getting, you know, she's just getting stage fright because there are all these people and these big cameras and big lights, and so she was she's getting kind of nervous, and she started crying a little bit. And so, you know, Sam is, is saying, you know, don't worry, you can do this. You know what you're doing. We can take a break. Don't worry about it. You know, he's, he's a phenomenal director. He can get anybody to do anything. I mean, he's, God, if I could only work with him, you know, <laughs> on every film, I think my career would be so, you know, astronomical. Um, but, you know, she was getting upset, and uh, I turned to her, and I'm like, I'm like, girlfriend, you're going to be like the next big thing. You don't even need to worry about it. And she just kind of looked at me and smiled, and I was like, you're so cute. I was like, you're doing so good, you know, and just like egging her on and um, just talking to her. And, I, and you know, I kind of related to her, and I said, you know, I've been nervous before. And I was like, that's when you have your best work. And it's kind of like she understood me. She was so young, and uh, she's kind of, I was just taking her mind off of things. And, you know, I'd like play with her hair and stuff. And, uh, and she got through it. She did a great, she did a great job, so. Fantastic! It's good, uh, you're a good person to have around on a movie set, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you also, um, I, I've read about you. Hold the title of Miss New York United Nations 2006. Yes. Um, and you, you speak out for such organisations as Lance Armstrong Foundation for Cancer Awareness. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about that and how you got involved in in that area. Well, I've always been um, really into pageants. Um, I just think that they're really good venues and opportunities for young women to make a difference and stand up for things that they believe in and um, become an advocate in their community. So, um, you know, I've always just, I've always wanted to be involved in my community, and I thought that by holding a title, um, it gives children and other people um, a reason to look up to you, and uh, it, it gives you sort of a presence and a name, and then and they in turn listen to you and sort of follow in your directions. And if I could make you know a positive path, I hope that people will will kind of follow and, and help to, to raise money for, you know, cancer awareness and, and be aware and spread the word and, and, all, and all that. So I think it's a good avenue. Fantastic. Excellent. Um, you obviously talked about your modeling career and your WWE and acting career, but, but what's next for Lauren Jones? When, when can we see Lauren Jones back in the mainstream again? Actually, I'm having um, a brand new website built, and I'm super excited about this because we're going to have products, Lauren Jones products, out um, we anticipate by 2007 so I am so excited about this and um, we're hoping to take the products mainstream and, and get them out there and um, I'm really excited about it so we're you know having a product launch you know that's, that's the next big thing for me and of course with that you know I still want to pursue my movie career and I want to do more TV and film and um, and you know you never know about WWE if they come knocking you never know <laughs> Okay, we're going to start wrapping the interview up, but what we generally do now is, is any time we have a special guest on, we just like to invite them if they've got any comments to give to the fans or any websites they'd like to plug. So the floor's yours, Lauren. Oh, thank you, guys. Well, um, I was a late joiner to MySpace, but I just joined MySpace. So you can always check out my page and become a friend. Uh, it's myspace.com backslash Lauren Jones, WWE Diva. So jump on the bandwagon and come and join and be a friend, and uh, don't forget to message me. And um, I will, of course, if you're a WWE fan, you're definitely getting added like overnight. That's done, done and done. <laughs> and um, always check back to LaurenJones.net because um, we're going to be updating soon, and it'll give an opportunity for fans to become members, and that way we guys, you, everybody can get more involved. So, and thanks for being fans. So without you guys, I wouldn't have the career that I have. So, Thank fantastic. You. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Um, well, with that, Lauren, thank you very much for for coming on the show. It's great to hear what you're up to now. Um, well, thank you. Obviously, you you have got a lot of fans, uh, as you probably know from uh, from the wrestling industry and and fans from from that area. So it's great to hear that you're you're, you're doing well. Um, everyone, of course, look out for Lauren in Spider Man Three next year, and um, keep checking the website for updates. So, Lauren, thank you very much for coming on the show, and uh, we're gonna take a short break now, and we will back be back with you very shortly with more of the square circle.